3.5. Polynomials of the form x squared plus bx plus c. We're going to be working on factoring this form of polynomial. We're going to factor this polynomial using the box method. Essentially, we're going to be working backwards from the box method of multiplication. When we're working in the box method, we know the pieces that go in the boxes in the center, and we're going to solve to find the factors that go on the outside. This x squared, this first term, goes in that first box. This 8, the last term, goes down into that box. So I've looked after this term and this term. Problem is, I've got two boxes left and only one term. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to take this middle term, and I'm going to break it into two parts that fit in there. Now, not just any two parts. There's a very specific way we have to break it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this last term, this 8. I'm looking for terms that will multiply together to give plus 8, but add together to give plus 6. So let's start. I know plus 1 times plus 8 will give me 8, but when I add them together, I get plus 9. That is not the plus 6 that I'm looking for. So that set didn't work. I know that minus 1 and minus 8 We'll multiply together to give plus 8. But when I put them together, I get negative 9. That isn't going to work. Let's keep on going. If I keep on going, I know that plus 2 times plus 4 will give me positive 8. If I add them together, I get plus 6. Hey, that's what I'm looking for. This plus 2 and plus 4. So really what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 6x. I'm going to break it up into plus 2x and plus 4x. Those are the two terms I'm going to put in those empty boxes. I'm going to go plus 2x, and I'm going to put plus 4x here. Doesn't matter which one you put where, but it does matter what signs you use. All right, I've got my box filled in. Let's look for the factors on the top and on the side. So I'm going to start right here. I'm going to look at these two right here. And I'm looking for what can I factor out of both of those terms. If I have a look at it, I can factor out an x. Then I'm going to look at these two terms, 2x and 8. Out of both of those, I should be able to factor out a positive 2. You're always going to want to pull the sign from the very first term. In that case, the positive 2x. That's why I've got a positive 2. Next, let's move on to the rows. I've got those two right there. I've got an x squared and I've got a 2x. Out of both of those, I can pull an x. So I can divide an x out of both. And my last row, out of the plus 4x and the 8, I can factor out a plus 4. Once again, pulling that sign from the first term. Let's take a quick minute. Let's double check that our factors work. So essentially, I'm going to take these numbers on the outside, and I'm going to multiply them back in. I'm going to double check that they give what's in the box. Essentially, I'm going to redo this multiplication chart. So x times x, yep, that's x squared. x times 4, yep, that's plus 4x. x times 2, that's 2x. Good. Plus 4 times 2, that gives me plus 8. We're in good shape. So now that I've got the factors on the outside of the box figured out, I know what the factors of my trinomial are. I've got x plus 2 is one set of factors, and this x plus 4 is the other set. So I can rewrite that trinomial as x plus 2 times x plus 4. And if I were to multiply that back out, I'd end up right back at x squared plus 6x plus 8. So factoring and expanding are just opposites of each other. One's going one way, one's going the other way. That is my factored form. Let's write down the steps for this process. Start with a 2 by 2 box. The first term goes in the top left box. My last term goes in the bottom right box. Next, we need to figure out what goes in the top right and bottom left boxes. That's where this process came in. So we have to find a pair of factors that multiply to give the last number of our trinomial and add or subtract to get the middle number in our trinomial. Those two factors, along with the variable from the middle term, go in those other two boxes. Next, pull out the common factors from each row and each column, and always use the sign of the first term. Last step, write out your factors. Let's do another example. Start with a 2 by 2 box. First term goes in the first box. Last term goes in the bottom right hand box. Next, I need to find the factors of 18. Looking for factors that multiply to give 18, but add or subtract to give a negative 9. This one has a negative sign in it, so we'll have to be a little bit more careful. 
So 18, I know, is plus 2 and plus 9. But when I add those together, I get plus 11. Not what I'm looking for. I also know I could use minus 2 and minus 9. That gives me minus 11. That won't work either. Sometimes you can see the factors right away, and sometimes you have to go through several tries before you can get it right. Let's try plus 3 and plus 6. Those multiply together to give 18. When I add them together, I get plus 9. That's off the close, but it's the wrong sign. But I can try minus 3 and minus 6. That will add or subtract to give me minus 9. Minus times a minus gives me that plus 18, but a minus subtract a minus gives me that minus 9. That's the set of factors I'm looking for right there. So I'm going to put a minus 3 along with the x from the middle term. I'm going to put in a minus 6 along with that x from the middle term. Let's factor. Out of these two terms, I can take out an x. Out of these two terms, I can factor out a 3. I can't take an x because only the top one's got an x. The biggest number that'll go into both is a 3. But not just a 3. I need a negative 3 because that's the sign of the first term. Looking at my rows... I'm looking at what will factor out of both of those, and I can factor an x out of both. And these two, what will go into both 6 and 18, that's going to be a 6. And my first term is a 6, so I'm going to factor out a negative 6. Double check that we got it right. x times x gives me x squared. Correct. x times minus 6 gives me minus 6x. Also correct. Minus 3 times x gives me minus 3x. Correct. And minus 6 times minus 3 gives me minus 18. We're in good shape. Let's write our final factored form. Starting with that part, we've got x minus 3, and I'm going to end with this part. I've got x minus 6. There is my factored trinomial. One last example of the box method. Start with our box. First term goes in the top left-hand box, that's y squared. Last term goes in the bottom right, that's minus 80. Now we're going to work with this term and this term to figure out what goes in those two missing boxes. Factors of 80, let's start with 2 and 40. Now one of them is going to have to be positive, one of them is going to have to be negative, because my 80 is a negative 80. To make it a negative, you have to have one positive and one negative when you multiply. So try minus 2 and positive 40. When I add those together, I get positive 38. That's not even close to positive 16. Let's try a different pair. I'm not even going to bother with the positive 2 and minus 40. Let's try positive 4 and negative 20. Positive 4 and negative 20. When I put them together, multiplied, they give minus 80. But subtracted, I get minus 16. Same thing again. That's awfully close, but it's the wrong sign. So let's try flipping the signs on my factors. Negative 4 and plus 20. Multiplied together, they get minus 80, but added together, they get plus 16. That is the set of factors I'm looking for. So I'm going to put a minus 4 along with the variable from the middle term. I'm going to put a positive 20 along with that variable. Let's factor. From both of those, I can factor out a y. From both of those, I can factor out a minus 4. From both of those terms, I can factor out a y, and from both of those terms, I can factor out a money. It doesn't matter that the 80 is a negative in that last box. I'm concerned about what the first term is when I'm looking for my sign. Let's double check. y times y gives me y squared. Correct. y times minus 4 gives me minus 4y. Also correct. y times 20 gives me 20y, and 20 times minus 4 gives me minus 80. We look good. These two are my factors. y minus 4 times y plus 20. And that is the box method.